your subject is probability and statistics and today's our lecture is random variable and distribution function first of all we will uh, discuss about the random variable a numerical quantity whose value is determined by the outcome of a random experiment is called as random variable so by visualizing the definition it is clear that once this is a numerical quantity and this is determined from the outcome of a random experiment random experiment you all know at this stage this is the experiment uh, which has the different results at each trial so that phenomena is actually a random variable it is also called a chance variable it is the second name of this uh, variable and it is abbreviated as rb so uh, this is the definition of the uh, random variable the random variables are usually denoted by capital letters such as x y z while the values taken by them are represented by the corresponding small letters so we indicate the set of random variables by capital letters and the uh, uh, corresponding individual values are denoted by the small letters such as small x y and z it is a real valued number so it means that the set of the uh, random variables uh, will consist on the real numbers not any imaginary numbers or uh, such types of numbers so if we consider the types of random variables then uh, there are actually two types of random variables discrete and continuous discrete random variables will be countable random variables and continuous uh, random uh, variable will be uncountable random variable so random variable actually has uh, very uses in the field of the probability because if we just assign a numerical quantity to the outcome of a random experiment and then that values have been used for the calculations of various uh, daily life problems uh, next function is the distribution function uh, that is associated with uh, the random variable concept let x be a discrete random variable so here uh, we are uh, discussing about the discrete random variable taking on distinct values and just assume that capital x is the set of random variable and whose values are x1 x2 and so on up to xn because this is a discrete so again all these values must be countable so then the distribution denoted by so then the distribution function is actually denoted by a p of x or f of x and is defi and defined by so uh, this f of x i f of i x i means actually that uh, all of these x values are actually x i so these are the elements of the uh, set of random variables so f of i x f of x i actually means that the probability of uh, each term which is written in the set of random variables so uh, or it can be indicated uh, as probability of capital x is equal to xi so this capital x means probability of random variable and from the random variable uh, whose entry of xi so uh, and for i is equal to 1 2 and so on up to n so there uh, can be so many values of them but again because we are discussing about the discrete, discrete random variable so that's why all these terms should be countable so in other words uh, we uh, can say that if we find the probability of any random variable and then the function which is introduced uh, for solving uh, this problem that will be the distribution function and whose mathematical and, and this is the <clears throat> mathematical description of the distribution function 
and also the f of i x i f of x i will be equal to zero for x is not equal to x i. So it will be any other term related. Uh, uh, then the value of f f x i will be considered as zero. So these are the definitions, but uh, uh, when you will solve the numerical problems, then you will uh, get more grip on the concept of random variable and as well as a distribution function. Or in other words, in distribution function, a simple function is developed uh, whose purpose is to find the probability of random variable. If we consider the problem number one, if a coin is tossed two times, find random variable for tail. So uh, here uh, uh, you will have to find the random variable for tail. Uh, just understand the statement of the problem. If a coin is tossed two times, find random variable ta for tail. So first of all, we have to make the set of sample space. Since the coin is tossed twice, so that's why your sample space will be double head head tail tail head and double tail so and our requirement is to make the random variable for tail because it is given in the statement so that's why as we have studied in the definition that we assign a numerical value of, of a random random experiment so that numerical value will become as the random variable so that's why uh, just a look at here that uh, we have these sample space we have to make the random variable for tails just uh, first look at the, this first term it is clear that there is no tail term is written here so that's why we, we uh, first element will be zero zero is actually corresponding to this term so for every random variable, there will be a one term in the set of sample space. And then this head and tail, it, 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 it shows that there is one tail element here. So that's why we have written here one. But the values of random variables are not repeated. So that's why in the next entry, there is also one tail. So this one cover also that third element. Just look at the fourth element, uh, two tails. So that's why it is uh, written here too. And so the, this is the set of actually random variable for tails. Uh, <clears throat> and again, uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, no, um, there, there can be different elements in sample space whose random variable can be a single quantity. So just assume this is one. Uh, this one is indicating these two uh, events of the sample space head tail and tail head because numerically if we uh, uh, if we assign the numerical quantity the same quantity one will be assigned to the each outcome and so this is the answer of that uh, problem consider the problem number two if a coin is tossed three times find random variable for head so here uh, for the solution of that problem since the coin is tossed three times so that's why our set of sample space uh, will consist on the values based upon the three coin toss experiment so we will uh, consider the three head uh, for the first element then uh, this last element will be replaced as one tail then this tail then this Then this tail will move, move uh, leftward. So uh, at the next term it is at the middle. Then at uh, the next term it is it will be at the start. And then for the next term we will induce the two tails with head. And then now here the head will move. So this head will be first step right, but then uh, this head uh, will occur at the this one last. And uh, at the end there will be. A three tails event so these are actually the uh, six elements of the samples uh, eight eight elements of the sample space and uh, if uh, you want to 
at those three points and then there will be there cannot be any other combination other than these permutations so these are actually the various permutations which i uh, which we have uh, made for the sample space of three coin uh, random variable or three coin uh, random experiment so and here our requirement is to find the random variable for head so uh, uh, we will say that we want to find the random variable for head this is a mathematical abbreviation and just look at here just look at the first entry it consists of three heads so that's why uh, we will write three for uh, for this particular manner of numbers i will told you later for first uh, just look at the numerical numbers this three will indicate this first event and then this second third and fourth events actually consist on two heads so that's why we, we will write here two and then this one head events will be considered as one and uh, you look at the last event there is no head in the last event so that's why it will be written here zero because there is no head uh, but for writing the random variable uh, just remember two two things that we write the random variable in ascending order so if we want to make the ascending order then uh, this order will be in this form 0 1 2 and 3 and again there will be no value repeated in the set of the random variables we will just write here the only the one entry for repeated element as well so that's why in other words you can uh, write uh, at some rough space you can write the if, um, values uh, without ascending order then and then for the for solving the, this proper and neat solution uh, you will just arrange your numbers in ascending form so that's why here this question ends i love the number 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 sum of dots this is a part one and for part two find random variable for dots having the same outcome so for the solution of this problem since the dice is rolled two times so first of all we will make the set of sample space when the two dice will be rolled so this is s is equal to and all this data and i have told you earlier that for making the a uh, set of sample space for two dice you will uh, start uh, from this term one one the, uh, this first one will indicate the outcome of first die and the second one will in indicate the outcome of second die and for the first row we will fix this first die outcome and second die outcome will uh, increase so for the second element uh, it will be here 2 then 3 4 5 and 6 and so on so again for the next row for the first die we will fix the number 2 and then uh, thus uh, following the same sequence all other entries will be marked that 1 2 and 3 and so on and similarly again uh, for the first die 3 will be fixed and then 4 5 and 6 just look at the last row where we will fix six on the first die outcome and then uh, this one two three four and five and move on and ultimately we will reach at final uh, numerical outcome that is actually six six in other words we will start from one one and by following this proper channel the we will reach at the last term which is actually the 66 so and uh, again if we count all these uh, set of sample space then these must be uh, equal to 36 elements so part number one is find random variable for sum of dots
so in the part number one we want to find random variable for sum of dots so for sum of dots uh, just take the individual uh, element of the sample space this is one one so just add these two values so one plus one will be equal to two it will be written here and then the, and then this one two means one plus two means three and then so on four five six and this seven one six and again i told you that no term will be repeated so and this two five is also seven so it is written here and then this uh, two six means eight so then eight nine ten eleven and your last term will be six plus six equal to twelve so this is a random variable for the sum of dots and for the part two uh, we will be interested in uh, for the uh, random variable for dots having same outcome so the same outcome means this one one so uh, just add this one one term and then this will be your random variable for the sum of dots so one plus one is actually two and then two plus two is equal to four and so on six eight ten and twelve so uh, these are <coughs> uh, the this is a random variable for the dots having the same outcome problem number 4 is find the probability distribution and distribution function for the number of heads when three balanced coins are tossed <clears throat> so in this uh, problem we have to find the distribution function and probability distribution and then distribution function and these <clears throat> uh, uh, this probability distribution and distribution function depends upon the random variable so first of all Uh, you will made the sample space as in the previous example we have uh, discussed the uh, sample space for three coins experiment and then let x be the random variable that denotes the number of heads then so uh, this uh, we have to perform for the heads so that's why random variable for heads will be this one this is 0 then 1 then 2 and then 3 so this is 0 1 2 and 3 so now we find want to find the pro corresponding probabilities so f of 0 means if random variable value value is 0 then uh, the probability of that random variable or in other words it can be written as probability of capital x equal to 0 and just uh, look at the sample space this is the event triple uh, uh, this is the triple tail event uh, which is indicating the zero random variable so this is only the one Uh, event in the sample space so that's why probability of triple tail event and it will be equal to 1 over 8 because there are total 8 <coughs> elements in the sample space and uh, this is the one favorable element and so on <coughs> so next this f of 1 means the probability of this one random random variable so the elements in which there is one head there are three elements in the sample space so that space probability is 3 by 8 and similarly uh, if we consider the f of 2 then two elements uh, 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 then the elements containing two heads these are also the three so that's why their probability will be 3 by 8 and uh, if we consider the f of 3 means three head events in sample space uh, so uh, that will be actually only one event so that's why 1 by 8 so based upon this information uh, we will make the probability distribution of x and here it will be number of heads xi and this probability means f of xi here just write the values of the random variable 0 1 2 3 and, and, and uh, this will be written here just the probability so uh, against 0 the probability is 1 by 8 and then 3 by 8 3 by 8 and then uh, for the random variable 3 the probability is 1 by 8 so this is actually the probability distribution and then we will move towards the distribution function so <clears throat> for the distribution function for the coin toss experiment this is a general formula f of x is equal to n cx over number of sample space this distribution function formula will depend upon the nature of problem here this problem belongs to the coin family so that's why this is the formula and and this a uh, value of x Uh, will be zero, one, two, and three, and so on up to uh, the coin has been. Uh, actually, these are the 
values of the random variables and here you know uh, the values of random variable are up to 0 1 and 2 and so this is actually the other method to find the probability of a random variable without using the simple probability concept this is a, a sort of mathematical formula so for finding the probability of zero random variable this f of zero and this n uh, will be actually means uh, that uh, uh, this will be the highest random variable here it is two so that's why it will be written here two and then x uh, this x means uh, you we are going to find the probability for zero random variable so that will be the uh, zero and then number of sample space and then it is number of 